what I do, lay it here. Overlord Season 4, Episode 3. Oh my gosh, what is his name, Philip from last week? Yeah, he's, he, 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 he's screwed, he's screwed. I, I think when a human messes with, basically, the someone with the power of a supreme being, I don't think things work out anymore. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny to see just how far up his ass he is, like, and how much he thinks he's equal or even close to whatever Nazareth is. It also makes you think like, oh, wow, the difference in uh, the power shifts that happen politically within the different political families because of, as we, as y'all have told me, the hundreds of thousands of people that died in that war between Reistes and the Empire, which Lord Ains joined in and ultimately turned into a massacre, stomp, stomp, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's just is it's it's interesting to see the power shifts the vacuums that have formed and the people that have filled it and the different parties and factions that are forming within the story again if you're not into uh, world building and stuff like that i don't think this show is for you but if you are and you're a junkie just like me then you are going to love this season just as much as you've loved um possibly the end of season two uh, the start of season three and definitely the end of season three <laughs> but yeah Overlord Season 4, Episode 3. Let's get into it. Oh. The the gin the ginung gap the gun <laughs> the staff there we go so that's why she's holding that that's why she holds it like dearly the whole time in the last episode I see I see dude he's like a doting father he's like hey make sure you got your keys you got your wallet you got your that's so cute that's so freaking cute the hell the hell <laughs> that, that that that's actually pretty smart. Wait, what? What is it? Oh, so freaking heck! <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. You're making the argument. <laughs> nice argument. He's of course gonna blow it off, though. What the frick? Wait, wait. He just, did he just peck him in the cheek? He smacked his, he smacked his teeth with her cheek. <laughs> Look at the maid in the right, just grinning. Like, <laughs> I saw what you did there. The maid in the right, just grinning. That's us. That's us right now. That's us. <laughs> He called her, she called her Mulonga. She called her Mulonga. <laughs> Forget everything you just saw. Didn't happen. Never happened. <laughs> uh, the slain theocracy. Okay, so if I am remembering, there is the Empire. There is, which is Jerkneev. We have the Reistes, which was Gazef. And then we have this, which is the slain. These are the people we met in season one with those little angels. All right. Okay. Okay. I think I know what's going on. <laughs> Anime only. It's tough, man. It's tough.
Oh, you mean the one that's also on our side? The paladin himself? Or are we talking about a different one? Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't seen him either. What's his name again? Fluter? 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 Where is he? Is he just chilling in Nazareth now? And who is she? 500 undead estimated to surpass the difficult. <laughs> Thousand Leagues Astrologer. Oh, so this is just like a scout of some sort? A scout that tried, that saw the army? Godkin, that's new. Two Godkin will be enough to fight against an army of death knight. Wait, what? What? Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me pause this for a second. Why? Why? Why do they look familiar? Why does she look familiar? Why does he look familiar? Maybe she. But these two have the power to fight against a death knight. Wow, the world really is vast. This is. Now this is interesting. This, this I can mess with. Is this an actual challenge for Nazareth, finally? Or at least a challenge for Godkin, huh? Godkin, okay. Oh, 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 wow. Hey, man, if you if you saw what happened in that stomping grounds known as the war between the Reistes and the Empire, you would understand. And I'm surprised she hasn't gone insane. She is in seclusion, which means she is still alive and kind of functioning as a neat more so. But if I saw something like that happen, something that just uncomprehensible incomprehensible up until now just this thing that summoned these monsters that are far beyond anything a human should be able to do and it's they're not even human themselves and oh gosh oh gosh yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the death knights were already crazy but then they summoned the goats oh gosh nah nah no 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 who's the who's 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 the person there's someone in the Empire, one of the generals in the Empire, that was beside Ainz during that whole massacre. I'm surprised he's still alive and still sane. Is he sane? He's, is he still beside Jerkneev? God, I want to know. We haven't seen Jerkneev this season yet. <laughs> huh. Oh, they're aware of 11th year magic. Wow. Is there a prophecy? Is there some sort of... You want to invade non-humans? Well, that's where you messed up. You want to invade non-humans? So the Reistees was like... The way they're talking, it seems it sounds like they founded the Reistees kingdom. Or they were merely puppets to grow... Hon 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 yo penyoko. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I don't know who Honyo Penyoko is, but she said vampire. The only person that pops up in my head is Shaltier. So maybe it's Shaltier. Yaldabaoth, we know it's Demiurg. 
I forgot who Honyo Ponyoko is. I should even know who Honyo Ponyoko is. Honyo Ponyoko. There we go. <laughs> oh, they pieced it well. An adamantite adventure just appears randomly to defeat the vampire. Yeah, it must be Sheltier. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> That's not the worst case. That's the real case. <laughs> oh, no. You think that's going to work? I love it, dude. They're all clowns. I love it. I love it. Keep blowing your smoke and mirrors, but Nazarek will come. Oh, did he just mention the dragons? Are we going to go to the dragons yet? Oh, the emperor. Maybe Jerkneve, maybe the dragons, maybe the dragons. I saw dwarves in the OP. Oh no, it's Jerkneve. Okay. What? Oh, no. What? Are you good, Jerkneve? Are you good, my guy? Are you good? Oh shoot, you you're stressing. You you are stressing. No, don't make Jerkney bald, dude. His hair. No, don't make him bald from the stress of Nazarek. No. Wait, did the knights, did all of the higher up in the armies watch or know about the, about the massacre and were like, we want out of this. We, I don't want to be part of this. <laughs> Very valuable merchandise. Oh, okay. It's just political speech for we want to meet up. I get it. Isn't, isn't Demiurge there? How is he going to come into contact with other parties knowing that Nazareth can eavesdrop or listen or Demiurge can plant people there at any point? Freaking fluters backstab them. <laughs> the irony. Damn, dude, your face is kind of weird. Yeah, I was about to say that was kind of creepy. It, it's like the face of despair. Despair face. <laughs> he wants to vent. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jerkney. You deserve it, man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh he's blaming himself for the goats. He's bleeding himself for the goats super the the, the super spell the goats. Oh gosh. Damn dude. Oh he's lost more hair. No! He really is gonna be bald. No, Oh, I was just talking about this guy. He was the one. There it is. There it is. He was the one beside the Sorcerer King. This guy. I'm surprised he's alive. Insane. Congrats to you, guy. You have some serious mental fortitude.
Maybe ignorance is bliss. Maybe he doesn't even understand how powerful that is. Who knows? Either way, it's still amazing. Either way. Oh, this is the Colosseum from the opening. Yeah. And if I remember from watching that opening, I saw a certain person in that Colosseum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just realized. Okay, okay. I just realized. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to show it this episode or next. Or the next. <laughs> but a certain person pops up in the same Coliseum. Freddy Valds. Nice to meet you. Oh, he was about to break into dance. He was break into song. <laughs> Hey, Fan Long. That guy looks tough. It's kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Your name is okay. <laughs> Sounds like a response. I'm sorry. Could I just remember the last guy's name? His name was Poapon. 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 Pon. Pon. A sick. I like Fan Long and Paw Pun. Two of the coolest looking characters out of the Adamantite group. What if these Adamantite adventurers were also backstabbing him? <laughs> like, I'm just thinking everyone's against him now. What? What the? <laughs> Fan Long's funny, bro. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna just explain exactly what we we're thinking. Now nah, we're good. We don't want to get involved. <laughs> I wouldn't want to get involved. Nope. No, 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 no. I'm good. No, 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 no. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Some moist critical. Again, ignorance is bliss. Might as well. Might as well not know about Nazareth. The general public do not know. Hey, I remember about, I think, four of those faces. They were in that meeting. Let me slide you a DM real quick. <laughs> You're going to respond with a physical DM too. You got to show yourself first. Be like, my people. Ah. Oh yeah, my people. Ah. Jerk live. 
So much hair. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really don't want him to lose his hair. Dude. I hope he lives. <laughs> High key. It's it's funny. It's just funny to keep him around. That's all. No. No, 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 oh, no, 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 okay, I realized, yeah, I was right, I was right about my intuition, but I'll let it play before I start going crazy and laughing my ass off, if it's what I think it is, but I'm like 95% sure he doesn't know who's fighting the strongest warrior, the warrior king in the empire, oh god, <laughs> they got a last minute replacement. Oh God. Who thinks mankind is the chosen race? Oh, so these guys are some elitist, huh? These slain theocracy people? They're like one of those elitist ones that are like humans are number one and they look down on all of the They're these these assholes are probably the ones that enslave elves too. These 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 assholes they, they... Yeah, all can die. <laughs> all can die. All can die. Okay, I bet you. Okay, 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 okay. So, before, okay. So, my rationale is, <laughs> my rationale is, it's Eins. All right, bro. It's devil. It's fucking Eins. <laughs> he he somehow for some reason he either learned about this or he is just lucky as frick and he just said, you know what? I'm gonna pop up into a coliseum. They need a fighter. I'm gonna join because. It's fun. You know how you know how Omonga as the player likes to do things randomly and it turns out good? Like actually being Momon in season one and season and how it turned out in season two and three. It's it, this is this is gonna be Ainz. But it's not gonna be it might be Momon, like Momon the Adventure, or it could be Ainz himself. The power play would be to actually pop up as Ainz. That would be the power play. Bruh. 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 <laughs> Finessed. Finessed. Now the slain theocracy are like, you backstabbed me. You, you actual. Wow, we haven't even negotiated jack shit yet. <laughs> you. <laughs> or your trap. <laughs> oh this is great oh this is great you know what i'm really hoping for i hope this wasn't planned i hope this was just pure coincidence too like this was complete coincidence it would make sense if it was planned though it could have been demiurg in the background giving eins a heads up somehow some way but it would just be so much funnier if it was eins just being like <gasps> oh, it's <laughs> the other thing is because of the OP, dude. The OP. He's fighting this, he's fighting this big ass, like, gold statue thing. In the OB, in the Colosseum. So I was so as soon as I saw him in the Colosseum, I was like, "Yup, boom, 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 boom." And then he doesn't know who the next person to fight is. Come on now, you're throwing me an alley oop, and I got a dunk on him. You know what I'm saying? Come on now, come on, come on now. <laughs> I'm gonna get the fuck out, please. Uh, <laughs> I need to get out right now, for real quick. I need to <laughs> dip <laughs> real quick. Oh god. <laughs> Jerk and Eve. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, don't say that, dude. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. Ah. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 What do you mean? Who knows how long that will last? What type of logic is that? I could say the same shit about you. What do you mean? If he's benevolent, if he's a benevolent ruler, you would think he's a benevolent ruler. You, if someone does charity, you don't think how long will that charity last? You dumb fuck. You you just it works both ways. How long? What what have you guys been doing? Actually, a bunch of hypocrites. Come on now, come on now. Don't play that card. Don't play that card. <laughs> even if they do let's say find a way to beat him it's not him they're gonna be fighting it's the guardians who are just as if not physically stronger oh here's the golden statue <laughs> <laughs> did he, did he, did he, he's like he's like please just win just beat this man <laughs> he's taking me down that is a sick ass uh whatever that is malice in the palace type thing what is that it's kind of sick but uh <laughs> yeah uh <laughs> you know what would be even funnier i don't know if it's gonna happen I doubt it's going to happen because, of course, he's part of the Empire and he's the Warrior King. But if the Warrior King shows subservience to Ainz, <laughs> the strongest asset of the Empire falls into the good graces of Ainz. Oh, that would be even funnier. Oh, that would just be great. Poor Dirk Neve, bro. He's going through it. Dirk Neve is going through it. Oh, oh God. Another thing I'm going to feel bad for, I'm going to feel bad for those, for those type of anime fans that just love the action fully through and through and just, you know, blind watch action. If they don't understand how good of a setup episode this was in general and how they've built it up and really made, made it uh, fruitful to the end in terms of showing who that person was, showing the plans being foiled, showing the political intrigue that's just been cause like there's so many aspects here that was so good in this episode it made me freaking laugh as a it, it's, it's actually comedic it's it's freaking comedic <laughs> this should be this shouldn't this shouldn't be an easy guy this should be a comedy bro <laughs> with the bullshit that i pulls out i love it i love it i'm gonna bet i'm gonna bet it really is a coincidence I'm gonna bet it is a coincidence. You know how Ainz or Momon in which is Ainz fell down in in the middle between the fight between Yaldabaoth and uh the vampire girl? I bet it's the same thing. It's like, hey, I was doing a quest or I just felt like going here, so I went here. And then he ended up actually foiling the plan of Emperor Jerk <laughs> I would just love that. But yeah, episode three, season four of Overlord. Hopefully y'all join me in the next episode. Things were fun. Things were great. Uh, hopefully the next episode has a bit of action. But overall, I love the pacing of it. I can't get enough. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next episode.